once every so many years, a film will come along that defines a generation. Citizen Kane, Casablanca, Gone with the Wind, Star Wars. A new era has begun. Space Oddity. The most important film of our generation. With a bigger opening night than Star Wars A New Hope. And with more disappointed reviews than Star Wars The Phantom Menace. Space Oddity was an instant cult classic. Grossing over nine trillion dollars. The trio seemed to be on top of the world. But then, in a flash, they were gone. Where did they go? Where are they now? This is the story of the rise and fall of Bolder Plug Productions. Name's Aaron J. Brown. I, uh, I play Archer in the hit cult classic Space Oddity. Hello, my name is Cameron Klein. Uh, I play the role of Specs in the movie, as well as being the director. I'm uh, Brian. It was all my brainchild. I came up with this whole situation. I think they wrote one line each. Lo and behold, two months later, I get a, uh, a letter in the mail that says, Hey bud, I'm starting up a new, uh, new movie. It's called uh, Space Oddity. I really want you to write the script. I said, okay, yeah, I'll write it. Uh, one thing you're probably going to hear a lot from the other guys is that they wrote the movie, but in actuality, I wrote the entire movie. What most people don't know about me is I like to write on a typewriter. Uh, Brian actually stole that copy of the script from me and gave it to Aaron, and uh, Aaron took credit for Brian's taking credit of my writing it. I met, I met Cameron at a Macayos in Liverpool, England. He just finished production on a... It was a live-action adaptation of Where in the World is Carmen Sandiego. We, we, we hit it off pretty, pretty immediately. Uh, I mean, I, I was down there starting production on my, my own little uh, piece of work. It's called uh, Aaron J. Brown, A Look into the Mind of a Genius. And uh, David Bowie happened to be playing in Makayos. Brian, Brian is a strange story. So um, we were on our way to the Makayos in Liverpool. A lot of people don't know there is a Makayos in Liverpool. That's probably why it's not there anymore. So we were driving along, and uh, me and Aaron were in the car, and we look out to the side, and we saw this, this hobo on the side of the road. And we decided, hey, let's get some free work out of this hobo. Brian's a rescue. We saved him from uh, a tribe of bears. They treated him like a little cub. Sometimes to this day, he's still he's making bear noises. We, you know, we took him back to the hotel. We cleaned him up a little bit. Uh, we gave him, uh, gave him a t-shirt, and uh, one thing led to another, and here we are. Brian's, uh, Brian's a part of the team. Is he, is he, are you doing an interview with him? Don't. I told him specifically not to do any promotion for this movie, because I knew he'd screw it up. I knew he'd break something. He'd give away our plot, he'd do something. You've probably heard a lot of me. My uh, so-called colleagues, they've said that I was a, a shut-in, a meat puppet. All lies. Do we have a cage for Brian? Yeah, yeah. You know, is this movie killed our friendship. Who let Brian out of his cage? Who let him out? Who let him out? Cameron? Did you let him out? No. Did you let him out? How do you feel about the death of Jake Hounsel? Who? The death of Jake Hounsel. That's a real. That's a real interesting subject. How do you uh, feel about the death of Jake Hounsel? Who? During the production of Space Oddity, one-man tech crew and beloved bird enthusiast Jake Hounsel was killed tragically. This is the last known video of Jake Hounsel, recorded just moments before his death. What is it? Oh, this is one of the leaning chairs. So, how did you become involved in this project? Well... Uh, actually, Cameron contacted me, and he said, Hey, we're shooting a movie. Come out. And then, uh, the turns out they had already filled the spot of the bounty hunter, so I just ended up becoming, uh, the one-man tech crew. I strapped on all the equipment, started filming, uh, that was really my point in the story. Very disappointing, actually. I was, I was looking forward to my big break in, the uh, Hollywood cinema, if you know what I'm saying. Yeah. 
Do you have a favorite breed of dog? Um, I... Yeah, I mean, I really like, uh, corgis. I don't understand what that has to do with the movie. Do you prefer cardigans or sweaters? I mean, I prefer sweaters. Can we get back to the real questions? Yes, yes. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, but, 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 where did you get that fabulous shirt you're wearing? Are, is this interview not serious? Are I'm, we just, I'm, are we done? I'm totally serious. I want to see, I want to see what... I think, please, I think, I think we're done here. I'm no, please, please. No, no, it's not. Jeez, jeez, jeez. Don't go. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We can get back to the normal a interview. Car I'm sorry. <laughs> on one hand, I'm sad because we had a history, but on the other hand, he's a jerk. I'm not going to lie. I hated every second with him. Jay Council. I don't know where he came from. He just kind of showed up on set one day. I don't know where he came from, and I don't know where our tech team went. He refused to say action. He would only make bird noises. He would only call, and uh, uh, there was some fight over like, I don't know, the the bird calls that our uh, our tech man would make or something. And uh, I mean, Cameron got really mad, and they they tussled, they fought it out. In fact, that whole that whole part in the movie where they're fist fighting, that's a real, that's actually them fighting. We turned the cameras on. We're like, we could use this, and uh, that that that's that's where you get the gritty realism of that fight. Just that raw, powerful emotion, butting heads. After its overwhelming box office success, it received horrible reviews. Comments like, what was with that Paris scene? And, so wait, is this supposed to be in the Star Wars universe? Scorned the very soul of Pull the Plug. But alas, there was an underground following. After it hit the web, it was an instant viral success and birthed what would now be known as their cult following. These people loved Space Oddity for all its campiness and confusion. The Space Oddity Nation was born.